Hey everyone, Chris here from Real Rideshare Stories. If you're new to the channel and you're looking for different things within the rideshare industry, whether it's news, tips and tricks for passengers and drivers, or what actually happens on Real Rideshare Rides, start now by hitting that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. And make sure to check the description below for other helpful information and tips. So today we're gonna to be talking about a few different updates that have been coming out from Uber, Lyft, and other gig platforms over the last few days and week. And then we're gonna clarify some things that have been uh, said by people who are talking about these companies when in fact they're not true. So we're gonna clarify what they mean as well as some of the um, craziness that is going on around the world today. All right, first off, Every driver from Uber just got an email or a notification stating that all Greenlight Hub locations will be closed in the entire US and Canada starting today, March 13th, and going through April 6th. They are expected to reopen on April 6th, but over the next few weeks, that could change, so we will see uh, what happens. And if it does change, Uber will obviously email all of its drivers. But if you do need support in any way, shape, or form, in-app support will still be available 24-7, as it always is. You just won't be able to go to a Greenlight Hub location for the next couple of weeks. Now, Lyft has not come out and said anything about closing its hub locations or service centers, but I do expect that they probably will be following Uber's lead and closing those down very soon. So if you do need to get to a hub location, you might wanna make sure you get there as quick as possible, unless they already sent an email out between the time that I recorded this and when you actually watch this video. Uh, so they could be shut down. Um, I'm expecting that they probably will be closing them down to follow uh, Uber, but Again, as of right now, they are open. Just make sure, again, you stick to any email or notification that comes from Lyft as well. Uber Eats and other gig delivery platforms are all working on contactless delivery options or different ways to help make it safer between customers and their delivery drivers. Uh, it looks like most of it's gonna be probably options on how to deliver from a customer standpoint to the, to the driver uh, itself. And it's probably gonna be mostly like leave the food at the door uh, or something very along those lines. Uber, Lyft, and other gig platforms are partnering with different companies to help try and uh, provide its delivery and driver personnel with um, hand sanitizer and disinfectant spray or wipes and how they're going to be releasing that is going to be up to each company and just again follow all emails or notifications within the app. Uber has not really said how they're going to distribute it yet. The only thing that they said they're going to do because of limited supplies, they're going to be hitting areas that are more at risk than others first, uh, but they have not released how they're going to uh, get that out to its driving force because with the hub locations closed, uh, that's one option that they had, but now will not have. So if it comes through the mail, that could be one th option, but again, it hasn't been released. Lyft on the other hand uh, said that they will be available at its hub locations and service centers, which again, they still are open as of this recording, but they may be closed at a different time uh, when you're watching this. So again, just make sure you pay attention to those emails and notifications when they come through about these things. If you want to claim your free hand sanitizer and di disinfectant spray or wipes. So let's talk about the pay, the sick pay that Uber and Lyft are both offering, as well as, again, some other gig platforms. You just gotta make sure you pay attention to uh, the emails and notifications that are coming in. I'm gonna sound like a broken record when I say that, but that is how they're getting all of their information out. So they're doing it through notifications in the app or emails. But when it comes to claiming sick pay for the two weeks, that is going to be done through um, 
if you are actually infected with it or if you have to be placed under mandatory quarantine. So those are the two ways that you can. Now, it does raise a big question on what if there's several uh, people that are placed under mandatory quarantine, like an entire town or a uh, few towns um, or area of a state or an entire state, something like that. What happens if they shut down everything and you can't leave your house? Well, unfortunately, there is no answer for that just yet. Um, I'm hoping that Uber and Lyft will convey messages about that uh, and hopefully do the right thing when it comes to it. Now, let's address a couple of rumors that are happening on Facebook pages and forums that I'm seeing where people are saying that Uber and Lyft are going to be shutting down uh, due to this whole thing that's going on around the world. And the simple answer is that is not actually true. They are not seizing operations when it comes to driving, picking up passengers or delivering food or anything like that. They are still continuing to do that. And the only time it will be limited is if they know that a person or individual has been connected with another person or individual who may have to be quarantined or tested positive uh, for its virus. So there is no plans on shutting down. Now, what about drivers out there? Should you still drive or not? Well, the answer is, I'm not going to answer that for you. Uh, you have to make that decision if it's good for you to drive or not out there on the road. Whether you want to continue driving or not, both options are perfectly okay. So if you want to take that time off so you mitigate any risk or potential risk of, of any infection, then take the time off as long as you need fit. But for the people who want to continue out there and continue driving, then just make sure you take the proper precautions to mitigate any risks as well too. Now, one of the big things is that I wanted to clarify as well when it comes to masks. Um, this type of mask is not going to protect you from breathing other particles in. This mask is only going to help prevent uh, you from infecting others. So if you have a cold or the flu or something like that and you're sneezing or coughing, this is good to put on so any of those particulates go into the mask itself and then that way it won't affect anybody else that's in that airborne area. Uh, but another person who sneezes or coughs and you're trying to use this to filter the air out, that is not going to stop it because everything around this area will still go in and will not stop that or filter it out. The only way you could actually filter something like that out is by using a full face mask, uh, I'm sorry, a half mask where um, it will actually seal up against your mouth and nose and then use the filters to filter out any incoming air and then breathe out uh, just the normal air. So if you're sick or not feeling well and you want to do both, yes, you can actually put both on at the same time um, where you will breathe in filtered air as well as cough out um, filtered air. So that's going to be up to you. But just to clarify the differences between masks, because if you're trying to put this on to protect yourself from others, that is not how it works. Sorry to burst that bubble, um, but it's just not how it works. That's the end of today's video. Make sure to check all uh, notifications and emails directly from each of the companies that you may be partnered with, as well as any local, state, or federal uh, regulations or rules that may go into effect, which will be on websites or through live TV press updates. So make sure you stay on top of those as well too. Um, and then if you are going to check Facebook or social media, make sure it comes from an actual news website who's giving you the true news and not some Somebody who's making something up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified every time a new video is uploaded. And make sure to check the description below for other helpful information and tips. And as always, never drink and drive, always tip your drivers, and we'll see you next time.